Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's play, baby. I am so excited to play more of this game, and I want to shout out everyone who's been tuning in to our epic coverage. Be sure to like the video if you guys enjoy, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I really appreciate y'all. Big shout out to all the A Drive Army Plus members who are getting early access. And don't forget, you guys can head over to adrivelive.com, make an account for free, and have a chance to win one of three Nintendo Switch and Legends Arceus giveaways there. It's free to enter that. You just make an account on my website. But if you're a Plus member, you have a higher chance to win and you get early access. So show some love. And again, big shout out to all the early access homies. Without further ado, we get to go meet Commander Kamado, which I'm so hyped about. And guys, I cannot. Tell you how excited I am to just play the game. I just want to play the- Oh, we got to go to the third floor. Yo, this is crazy. Is this like the biggest building that we've ever been in? There he is. The third floor of the galaxy headquarters. Commander Kamado. Sounds pretty good. It's a nice ring to it. I have been waiting for you. What's up, bro? He's dressed like Arceus, by the way. I mean, uh, Giratina. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition team. Huh, so you are A-Drive. Yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Try to throw him? hey -ya! Uh, you've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. We're out here just fighting this dude. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of the Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, A-Drive, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. And we completed a mission. Very nice. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you'll begin as a no star, recruit among our ranks. In other words, you'll have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you'll move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher rank you'll become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer to that goal of yours, to seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. A recipe for crafting Pokeballs. An Apricorn and a Tumble Stone. And 3,000 Poke Dollars as well. You have to buy the necessary materials. Nice. Akari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Silene. Now, as the experienced craftsperson here, let me explain a bit to start. Crafting means making items with your own toon hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think where it would be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the craft works. All right, so we're headed to the basics of crafting. So I guess we'll head out the door. Well done, earning a place in our team. My name is Anth. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I hope they do fit. And an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you avail yourself of the village humble shops. This way to the crafts work, eh, Drive? You can use the, bench, the workbench here at the craft work anytime you need to make an item in the village. Nice. Make some Pokeballs. And I'll supply you what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready. Call my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft. In this case, a Pokeball. Okay, so we want to do this. And I'm going to craft. And actually, I can make 20, it looks like. Now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this is your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in our Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. 
You received a Pokedex. A volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Laventon continuously adds it to each report on each new Pokemon species. Dude, I just think this is amazing. This is so great. I just, am, I'm in love. I'm in love with this. I really am. Oh man. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids your well and your aim to seek out all the Pokemon in this region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill the Pokedex. The same goes for me, of course. I've got a Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. I'd be happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands camp whenever you're ready, my good A-Drive. All right, so we're gonna do that. I guess I'll activate the guide on this. Although I don't really know. I mean, I kind of wanted to go make more Pokeballs and stuff. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help it over here. If you're gonna go to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Okay, so they have a request icon above their head if they want something. So we'll come talk to this guy. So there's this Pokemon called Wormple. Have you heard of it? Yep. I was having a chat with Lavinson. He told me a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience. It'll sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was called evolution. Some Pokemon can undergo evolution. If your Pokemon has met the requirements, you'll be able to select evolve when viewing them in your satchel. And I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just let me get a Wurmple if you can. Okay, I can get you a Wurmple. I like that guy. That guy's, uh, we got similar vibes for sure. So let's enter the craft bench. Let's make a few more Pokeballs since I think I can make more. Um, looks like I have 19 of each, so we might as well make like 10 and I'll save the rest because we might want to use them later. This is the training grounds. This is cool. Here in the village fields, you can have crops grown for you in exchange for a fee. Here to grow crops, are you? No way to tell how the yield will be, but we'll give it our all. Uh, Apricorn harvest? 500 for that, sure. Okay, so I guess this is cool. So you can bring your stuff here and they'll grow things for you, depending on what you have. And I feel like that's gonna be important for like resources, is to do things with that. You're stuck in the thing, buddy. <laughs> Pyre, what are you doing, buddy? Get out of there. You're the newcomer fell out of the sky. Are you heading outside the village? The Survey Corps must get out and compile the Pokedex. Well, can you find me all about Starly? When I see a Starly, I feel whole. Please let me see a Starly's entry in that Pokedex. I've got one, though. Oh, I've got a complete Starly's Pokedex. Okay. Oh, a special parcel has arrived with my name on it. The modern jacket, modern trousers, and modern shoes. Please take good care of such fine attire. Can I change inside here? Oh, I got another one. A shaman fancy kimono and a shaman fancy bottoms. So this is from playing the other games. Oh, another one. It's a good thing I keep talking to the same person. Pikachu festival mask and Eevee festival mask. Yeah, I'm definitely not wearing those masks. That's for sure. Uh, can I take it off? Yeah, I'm gonna take off the hat. I wanted to see what the other kimonos look like. Uh, I don't really feel that one. Everyday kimono or modern jack- Oh! We could look like the Team Galaxy people. I'm gonna go with that for now. I feel like that's actually kind of cool. I know Shinx's ears had odd markings on the inside, but what were they? Ah, oh, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, if you could catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've got to see one with my own eyes. I got a Shinx, bro. Take a look at it. All right, let's have a peek around those ears. Ah, it's ears have the yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief it is. Feels like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. And I get three potions for that. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, so we're gonna head to the field lands camp now and Ooh, loading screen, that's interesting. With you running around, that's kinda cool. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are many great research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found, any, any, uh, found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. So research tasks you need to carry out in your Pokedex. Each species have a different number of tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex, then check what kinds of research tasks are available. When you focused on a wild Pokemon in the field research using the ZL button, you can instantly check the research tasks for that species by pressing the down button. Okay, that's interesting. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research person other rewards for your work. 
One last piece of advice. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, dodge it like your life depends on it. Dodge? Watch closely and remember what I do so you can do it later. I was wondering when we were gonna learn how to dodge. I wonder what you press for that, B? That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you could dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon attacks. The security core had me collect, uh, had to collect me when I got the business end of a Shinx Thundershock. But don't you worry, I've got lots of experience to draw and I'll teach you plenty. So what do I press to dodge? You gonna tell me? Dodge is Y, okay. So now I know how to dodge. Okay, so let's look around and see what we can figure out. I get to actually play now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so when you go down to this, if I focus on a Pokemon, I wanted to, well, let's talk to Akari first. Now let me share some Survey Core wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with ZL, then press down to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. Yeah, that's what I was gonna just try. Uh, catching just one isn't enough. You need to get two and then four and then more and then more. And then when it's time to battle, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try if you want now. Go ahead. All right, so we're gonna sneak up on a Bidoof. We're gonna focus on him and press down. Although I guess I didn't focus enough. There we go. And now you can set the research level and just pull it up really nicely. So that's pretty cool. So I guess we will catch him. So we switch X, get our Pokeballs, and throw it at him. And he's, he broke out! Oh god, I'm actually really bad at this. All right, maybe it's not as easy as I initially thought. See if I can catch this one, since they're being tricky already. Oh, okay, there we go, we got a Bidoof. We got a Bidoof, we got a Spoiled Apricorn. I'm gonna hide in the bush. And I'll catch another one. I need to catch three anyway. Hey, oh, he broke out! Come back, buddy. You really just gonna run away on me. All right, I'll come over and see Akari. I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on Pokemon. It's just ZL, then down. Try checking your task for Starly next. Once your ta one of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted. For that task, try catching them while hiding in the tall grass. I'll go wait up for you ahead. So I'm gonna run to the tall grass. I'll crouch down and hide. I'm gonna focus in, I guess, on this one. And see if that works. I got him! And if I focus in on him and then press down, it says number you've caught without being spotted two. And we have to go to five. And we have to defeat them as well. So I might as well defeat him. So let's send out Pyre. Trying to throw down, bro? Level three Starly, okay. I'm gonna Ember. We should just like destroy this thing. It's keeping its guard up and he ran away! Wait, they could just run away though? That's actually crazy. I'll get some Orin Berries. I wanna fight you. Maybe I need to approach it. And he wants to fight now because he had the exclamation point. He's keeping his guard up still. Wait, he ran away again! Why y'all running away from me? So Shanks, I need to defeat some. I need to defeat it with a ground type move. I gotta see it use bite. And I gotta catch it. You caught Shanks unaware. Oh, good, that's actually good. I think that that's, so that might be the key. You gotta, if you're gonna fight them, you gotta fight them when they're not looking, you know? It's too stunned to move. Yeah, that's it, dude. You gotta try to fight them when they're not looking. So I'll defeat a Shanks here and finish that task. And we get some XP for that. That's sick, dude. All right, I'm fighting another one. Let's see if he wants to throw down. I'm gonna just Ember you. Critical hit. I get a burn. He's looking around. I should be able to beat him then. I'll quick attack this time. And we'll beat the Shanks. Just getting some more XP. 
Throwing some things down. Nice, I defeated two out of two, and I get a cherry berry. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. I see it. <laughs> that means it'll try to hit you with moves, just like Shinx, and you don't need to battle it to catch it. Oh, I'm ready for the test, let's get it. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blocking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you become overwhelmed and black out. Your research tasks for Weasel and see, include seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. Now go ahead. You'll take some care of Weasel's research tasks and come to me. See if I can catch it right here. That did not work. I guess I gotta battle him. All right, you trying to scrap, bro? Let's go. You wanna throw down, Weasel? Level three, Weasel. All right, he's looking around. I guess I'll just hit him with a quick attack first. And then we'll try to catch him after that. That did nothing. I'll quick attack again. Don't run away. Okay, he used quick attack too. That's fine. Now we're gonna use items. And we'll throw a Pokeball at him. Let's we'll see if that's better. Boom! That's how you do it, baby. Caught ourselves a bull weasel. It's our first one. Nice. Ooh, a Wurmple! I see a Wurmple! I gotta go sneak up on him. Is this a thing? Oh, it is! A medicinal leak. Nice. All right, we're gonna sneak up on this Wurmple. I lost sight of him. There he is. Come on, stay in the ball, buddy. Nice! I got a Wurmple! Oh, another Wurmple. I'm gonna go get him. So I need to catch him without being spotted. So we might as well just try that. Yeah, that didn't work. Stop running away, dude. Have I been spotted? <laughs> just throw it right at him. Got him. Nice. Oh man, I keep wasting Pokeballs by just throwing them at the wrong stuff. It's all right though. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to craft a lot of stuff. I'm like kind of gathering things now. Oh, there's more Weasels over here. An Eevee! Oh! Oh, it saw me. It saw me. I gotta get into grass or something, man. Oh, it vanished! I see how this is a struggle, man. I see. I see the potential fails, dude. I really do. Man. That's actually crazy. Ooh, I just got a move mastered on Cyndaquil from using him to hit that tree. So I'm kind of just doing the gathering thing here. Just grabbing a bunch of stuff, but I'm curious if now he can use the different forms, like the single strike form and stuff like that. A Ponyta, ooh. I'm gonna try to sneak up on the Ponyta from the other side here. Oh my God, a Rapidash. Okay, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't want the Rapidash to come at me. I'll take on the Ponyta though. Yeah, so Quick Attack can now be Strong Style or Agile Style because I used it so much. From, I don't know if it's gonna, if that's just a leveling thing or what, but it's kind of sick. And I call myself a Ponyta, baby. I am staying very far away from that Rapidash, that is for sure. Although, what is that? I kind of want to get a little closer. Is that something? A vivid choke. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that and then I'm gonna leave this Rapidash to do its thing. I'm gonna use my first strong style attack here and see how it goes. Cyndaquil strong style quick attack. It didn't do enough. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna quick attack anyway and hope I'm faster. Yeah, okay, we're still good, we're still good. Gotta use another potion, but we're chilling. I wanted to try and see how much it would do. You're really doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me, your own crafting kit. Ooh, can you just craft on the go? That's big if you can. A kit containing everything you need, even if there's no workbench around, you can only use materials you have in your satchel. Yo, that's actually huge. And a recipe for potions too, yes. Dude, I love this so much, man. 
I've, I'm just like running around, gathering materials. This is the game, dude. This is the game. Oh, I'm like, I'm in love right now. I'm so in love, guys. This is like exactly the kind of game that I'm just like hyped up about. I'm gonna be real. So I'm gonna use my crafting kit and see what I can craft. So I can craft more Pokeballs. I guess I'll craft like 10. Easy to craft them. And then Medicinal Leak and Orange Berries give me more potions. So this is good too. Yeah, this is great that you could just do this out in the wild. Like you could legitimately just spend hours out here. And I very well may do that. And I'm gonna try to find another Eevee, I think, is what I really wanna do. I gotta just keep exploring, guys. Like this is too epic to just stop right now. Oh, we also learned Rollout on Cyndaquil, which is new. That's actually really cool. Oh, he used Rollout against me, ow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try, ooh. I'm gonna run. Yeah, I'm gonna run. I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> okay, so apparently you can drown very easily and I should definitely not go in the water. So lesson learned. How close is too close? I guess is the question here. I don't wanna get too close cause I am inevitably gonna get wrecked by that thing. Oh, this Shink spotted me and wants to fight. That's actually hilarious. I guess I'll fight you. Oh, he just went for an electric move. This Shinx did not wanna mess around. All right, I'll play this game. You wanna fight me? Let's get it. I'll go for Ember. And I snag a burn. I should probably catch him to be honest. The experience is nice, but I should catch another Shinx, why not? Yo, that was crazy. It shows up with a little eye showing that they've seen you and they wanna fight you. And then he just came after me and went and like tried to attack me. That was actually really sick. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. It looks like you could try to catch two at once. <laughs> just start throwing Pokeballs everywhere. Sure, I'll catch another Bidoof, why not? And I got another one. Let's head back and talk to Laventon for a bit. Oh, if it isn't a crafting kid, you might've listened attentively to Akari's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. This seems like a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, you receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You receive more money if you've fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed this far. I, collect, I, I got a lot of stuff, as you could see, I was busy. It's actually really fun too. So I caught 24, 20 or more Pokemon on one report achieved, six different species, six new ones, caught using a backstrife. I don't really know what that part means, but I'll take the cash. Most illuminating, I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tasks, submitting reports, you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise the Pokemon's entry to 10, the entry will consider complete and you'll have unlocked all the detailed information about that species. As you carry out tasks to complete the Pokedex entries for different species, you'll gain your research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition team. Nice. So I've gotten 10 here, eight. Oh, this is the research level. Oh, so he's done. Wow. How? Oh, because I used Ember so many times and I got all those points. So I guess I don't have to do anything. So Bidoof's almost done, wow. Wurmple's done too. Wow, okay. I dig that. So is there any reason to go any higher than 10, I guess? Almost have a star, it looks like. You made good progress in these research tasks. I do believe you're ready to move up in the ranks. Let's head to the village to report to the good news to Silene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Hey, we got our first research star. Let's go. Have I got the Wurmple I could give you? I do, man. I don't know which one to give you though. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll give you... I give you this level three one. Yeah, you can have it. Enjoy. You must be good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. I've been told it'll evolve into a beautiful fly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Hmm, tough decision. Which one of these do you like? Beauticia, Beautifred, or Bugeen? <laughs> Beauticia, <laughs> that's funny. I'll raise Beautician to be a splendiferous beautifly. Wait and see. I cannot wait for him to have a dust ox later on. Like for real. Give me a star, Silene, I did it. Huh, you made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the first rank of first star in Galaxy Expedition Team. 
This is a great time to ask you guys our question of the day. Obviously, we've seen a handful of different forms in this game. I was hoping I would find one quickly, but let me know what your favorite new form is in Pokemon Legends Arceus. You guys can let me know in the comment section below. I can now use Heavy Balls. Pokemon up to level 20 will obey your orders in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey will be more generous too. Have these as well. There are further recipes you need for crafting. I get crafting Heavy Balls. An Apricorn and a Black Tumblestone. And we can craft revives, Vivichoke and Medicinal Leaks. A stranger like you should fall from the sky and flourish among us as a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people refer to it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through the ranks is something that anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. The higher rank will grant you access to more Pokeball types and greater rewards. All right. For today, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Hey, Drab, my boy. I believe a jolly congratulations in order. Well done on earning your first star. Potato Moki tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we're very busy from now on between our survey core duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on the request from Beauregard? The people of Jubilee aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arise, the survey core gets called to help. Some people ask you for help when you talk to them, while other requests will be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a recent request, Akari? What's it about? I was thinking maybe E-Drive can handle it for me. I was told to require a bit of skill with battling, so... Ah, that request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we can establish good relations, I'm sure there will be much we can learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss that tomorrow. For today, we should eat and get some rest. The next day. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I can use your help with. All right. Thank you, I'll be waiting at the training grounds then. If you caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do with my team. So right now, Pyre is the only one on my team, right? And And... You know, I'm the kind of person where I have all these Pokemon on my party and stuff, and that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to use them. So I'll keep you guys posted on how that's going to throw down, but let's get some hair done. And I might go back out into the wild and see if I can find that Eevee again. I just changed my hair to black. I didn't really like the other hairstyles right now. So earlier I spent 500 Poke Dolls, and I got 33 Apricorns. That's actually really good. I'm going to give you a medicinal harvest this time, but 33 Apricorns is pretty solid. Ah, here's the pastures. I was looking for them. This might seem kind of silly, but I'm gonna grab a bunch of worm pulls because I want to make sure that they evolve. Uh, and then that way I make sure I get at least one Beautifly and one Dustox. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Listen, I had an epiphany. And that is? You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we got work together to help complete the Pokedex. You have a Pokemon? Yes, here's my partner, Pikachu! Hey! <laughs> when we were attacked by those Shinx, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partner refused to listen to anything I tell him. And if I'm being honest, I'm not sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. But when I saw you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we needed to do more. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. All right, I guess I'm throwing down again Survey Core Akari. And she's gonna send out her Pikachu. And I've got Pyre here, of course. Let's see what level it is. It can't be that high. Level nine, that's... Oh, we're gonna Thunder Wave me right out the gates. It's kind of annoying. Uh, I'm gonna go for Ember. Oh, that, and I get a burn, let's go. Thundershock, that's a good amount, but the burn is huge. And I think the play here is we quick attack with strong style. I get paralyzed though! No, fire! Okay, the burn, fire. I need you to quick attack strong style here. Yeah, here it is. Nice. Fire's a beast. You and your Pokemon seem to completely be in step with one another. And we're gonna get some big levels there, and we have one that can evolve already. One of our little worms. 
Thanks for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Guess I was wrong then, but I'll strive to work wor more with my Pokemon the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. By the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently makes a big difference in how battle go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. Oh, there's the type chart. They just give it to you right there. I know the type chart though pretty well. So you're the one, the new recruit everyone's talking about. Hello? My name's Zisu, captain of the security corps. I see you got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zisu is the master of an ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in strong style. The move will deal more damage, but it'll take longer for you to act afterwards. You can also use to choose to unleash the move in agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. In truly favorable conditions, it might be even able to get two moves out before the opponent can act. Strong style, agile style, and of course, regular moves. Choose which one is right for you, given a situation. And direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. And I've already been using those. One more thing, if you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, let me know. Zistu's teaching should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. You remember, I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. I'm down, I'm to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well. Once you've readied your team and perhaps had them learn some new moves from Zisu if you'd like. So we can actually do our first evolution now. And you can see there's like a little Pokeball. He's ready to evolve. Let's get it. Let's see what this Wurmple's gonna evolve into. I figured, like I said, I'll just evolve a bunch of them to make sure I get at least one Silcoon and one Cascoon. I'm gonna predict this. This evolution scene is insane, by the way. It is Silcoon. We get a Silcoon. And I got an idea for a new move. I guess it's change moves. Oh, wants to learn iron def Oh. That's cool. I guess I'll talk to you as well. I want some new moves. Oh, you can teach Aerial Ace, Swift, and Rest. I'll get Aerial Ace, actually. Yo, that's sick that they give you like move tutors this early. Who? Oh, Volo's here. Did I surprise you? I was trying to anyway. There's a secret technique to catch a Pokemon, you see? It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Hit a wild Pokemon from behind for a higher chance. It's called a backstrike. If you're part of the Survey Corps, working to create a Pokedex as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Oh, you're the boy from the Survey Corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? I need to tell you about this great cake lure recipe I invented. It's called the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into this recipe. Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching on to the potential. If you see people making my mushroom cakes famous as you are, you want to give them a go. I'll teach you the recipe. And you need to get the uh, the key ingredient, a, spun a springy mushroom is what I need. Okay. So we've got to find ourselves a springy mushroom. And here's another quest. Oh, D. Lee Lee! Hmm, that marvelous rich tone, how is it produced? I must know. Oh, didn't see you there. You're just the person I need. I need to learn more about Cricket Talk. How do they make those sounds? I'd be in your debt if you can complete Cricket Tot's page and show it to me. All right, so I gotta collect all the Cricket Tots and I gotta finish Starly too for that last person. If you black out in the field, you may lose some of your items. However, players from over the world can find your lost items and send them to you via the internet. If you find a satchel, you get Mara points as a reward. They can be used in exchange for items at the trading post. That's cool. You received a thank you gift. Would you like to claim it? I got Max's satchel and I got 90 Mara points. Sweet. Over here. My, this is A-Drive. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But can't such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving, so the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you could lead your Pokemon in battle? I do. 
That's good to hear. The security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This is my partner Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles by my side by choice without needing any silly balls like you use. Watch and learn. Oh, I'm throwing down against the Munchlax. My boy Pyre's ready though. What level are you? Level 10. All right, uh, there's no ability, so Ember probably is pretty strong here. I think I'm just gonna go for it. Chance of a burn is nice too. I got the burn! Hey, I did, oh, he has rollout. But he missed. Okay, so I think I definitely wanna go for physical attacks. I think I honestly start going for a rollout or area lace. Let's go for area lace. The fact that he's burned is actually really big. Hopefully he doesn't roll out, he rollouts. Does so much, dude. If he actually rollouts me, he may actually beat Pyre here. I don't think strong style quick attack does enough. But what if I agile style? Okay, so if I, if I quick attack, then I get to go again. So let's try that. Okay, and then I get to go again. And I can go for strong style quick attack. Yo, I think I just legitimately used the battle system effectively. And I did, look at that. I would have been knocked out otherwise. So that was a really cool, uh, nice practice for that. And I'm gonna be able to find out which one of my worms are gonna evolve and if I get a Cascoon too. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. And I'll let you have these. You make, uh, you people make all th kinds of things with your crafting. These should prove to be useful materials. Vivichokes. So we can use those for revives. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need help dealing with some alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. It's a large fearsome foe, like any alpha, but you'll come to Deer Track Heights. And I just like randomly have this phone. It's showing where you gotta go, isn't it? My, my, that's a curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there, I know it. It seems like you're quite the assay to the Survey Corps. Though, before we continue, do you already know about the Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It is said to have created the very universe using its power over time flows. And this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of the Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can thrive and live here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of the people who crossed the sea and settled in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world a long time ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to the Almighty Sinnoh and it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It's directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. Alrighty, ooh, there's a Cricket Taught. Let's get it. Oh, I get to evolve though, let's evolve. And that's another Silcoon. And that's another Silcoon. There's no way, right? There's no way they're all gonna be Silcoons. There we go, there's my Cascoon. All right, all right, we're good. I, I I was smart to grab them all, right? Cause now I've got at least one of each. Oh, there's a shaking tree up there too. I wanna go find out what that's about. But let's go, uh, let's catch this Krigatot first. Got him, we got our first Krigatot. Okay, so I'm really excited about what could potentially be in this tree. So I'm just gonna throw the Pokeball at it and hit it and see, <gasps> Burmy! A Burmy! Okay, I have to catch the Burmy. It's a female Burmy, of course. Um, I guess I just quick attack it. I'm gonna obviously have to catch it. Hopefully it doesn't run away. Struggle bug, okay. That's fine. I'm gonna try to catch it with this. Um, let's go and let's just throw a Pokeball at it. I, it would be a male Burmy, wouldn't it? It would, or a female rather, the first try, like. Oh, it breaks out. If I quick attack it again though, I may knock it out. So, Agile Style should be weaker, right? So if I go for Agile Style Quick Attack, it should do less. Okay, good. So that's actually kind of strategic that we can utilize that. It was a damage roll situation, so I didn't want to go for two Quick Attacks in case I knock it out. Because I want to catch this thing, obviously. 
So hopefully that'll do it. Nice! Alright, cool. And I just caught a bunch of cricket tots too. Good stuff. Looks like they changed Cyndaquil's evolution level in this game as well. Oh, mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries. They grow on some trees, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. I think I got some. Oh, you can throw berries to distract Pokemon. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, look, you can throw the berry. Oh, he's gonna run away though. It didn't really work because he just kind of ran away. No, come back. Oh, he left. Can I just pick it back up? No. All right, so I'm gonna try out this berry thing because it's kind of cool. Oh, uh, I don't have space. Oh, dude, you run out of space? Dog, that's actually wild that I'm out of space right now. I did not anticipate that. Okay, so I can't actually even pick that up because I'm out of space. <gasps> Drifloon! Because it's nighttime, yo. I wanna catch him. No, don't you go anywhere, buddy. Oh, he wants to fight me. Oh! Fight me then, bro. Dude, that's sick! Level 8 Drifloon. All right, I'm gonna hit him with an Ember. I wanna catch him. Oh, that did nothing. He gets burned. He's looking around. I kinda just wanna throw a Pokeball at him. See how that works. Dude, I hate that our inventory's full. That's like, kind of annoying. He broke out, of course. Why would he wanna stay in? He grew enraged. His offensive stats are raised. Uh, I guess I'm gonna ember you again then. Hypnosis. Put me to sleep. Grew drowsy. So am I not actually sleeping yet? Now he hypnosis again? And now I'm drowsy. But I guess I'm still not sleeping, I'm not really sure. And I got him, let's go! We got a Drifloon. And there's a Geodude down there. And he sees me. He definitely wants to scrap. I wanna try to get this Cherry Berry on this Krigatune here. Oh, he's, he's going for it. I gave him food, I wonder if it's gonna count. I hope so. Number you caught without being spotted. Did it not count for the food? Because I fed him. So I've got this item called Grit Dust. I'm gonna use this on Pyre right now to boost his special attack. Because I wanted to clear a spot so that way I can Craft some heavy balls now. Uh, it looks like I can grab up to 10. So it's too heavy to fly far, but it's highly effective if you get an unsuspecting Pokemon. So now I've got those. So let's see if we can get some unsuspecting Pokemon. Oh, it really doesn't throw far at all, actually. Okay, I caught him. There's no way I'm actually gonna catch this Zubat, though. All right, I caught the Zubat unaware. I'm gonna try to beat it with Rollout, because that's one of the tasks for it is to beat it with rock type moves. Sweet. And just like that, I can evolve my Silcoon to a Beautifly, which is another dex page done. And then what I'll do is I'll end up going back. I'm gonna grab, um, I'm gonna grab, whatchamacallit, some different Pokemon to evolve them, and we'll just kind of go one at a time. But that evolution screen does not get old, man. It's so good. And this is where Mai was looking for us to go. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. Laventon. What are you doing up here? Woo, thank goodness I got here in time. As a researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha, now could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of the ancients, blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker, here to disturb the peace with its racket. And that's what you're here for, a drive to drive out that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're oversized as this one. Exactly, they're not only big though, they're strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. 
They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. I believe you're stronger than this Alpha, so go show it that, beyond any mistaking. Be careful, A-Drive. Size is a potent weapon in any of itself. No doubt this is an Alpha, as powerful and a hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called Alphas. They're larger and they may know moves that are rare for the species. They're difficult to catch. I wanna catch it though. Okay, so first things first, I wanna go to this Beautifly because we can change its moves around and I can give it Air Cutter. So, oh, it already has it. Okay, perfect. All right, let's get it, man. I guess I just gotta fight it, right? I just walk up to it. That is a big cricket tune, man. How strong is it though? Go Pyre! Me and Pyre just had a nice snack. He's ready for fights. All right, you can check the action order. Okay, so I know about that already. It's filled with wild might. Cricketune use aerial ace. Oh my God! That did way more than I thought it was gonna do. Okay, I do have strong style. I could do agile style ember and then get a second ember off, which seems like the play here. Super effective, okay. And then I think I got a strong style ember as well. Yeah, he's gonna get two attacks off if I do that though. I'm not sure it's gonna be enough, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna probably get knocked out. Oh, it's so close. He's gonna knock me out with Aerial Ace. Fire fainted. Okay, I'm gonna go into Starly, I guess? And I get to go, so I guess I'll Aerial Ace. Starly about to get crazy XP. Oh, I should've tried to catch it. Oops, that's all right. Kinda forgot about catching it, to be honest, but I'm gonna get a ton of XP. I can learn, evolve some new Pokemon. We'll be good to go. You're really impressive, aren't you? Seeing someone best an alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. We'd be best to make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing such a foe. Ah, it's a Weird Ear. Yo, we get access to Weird Ear already? That's probably really good though, because it's such a like huge place to travel. The Great Weird Deer. Look at him. Look at that schnoz. He looks upon you with kindness, A-Drive. I'd say the Great Weird Deer has taken a liking to you. That's fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanse of Hisui while bearing out a human on its back, a human he deems worthy. He's a blessing to us all. Truly outstanding stuff, a Pokemon letting someone ride on it. It's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Alola? Professor Lavington, A-Drive. Captain Silene sent me. She said that once A-Drive carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adaman and the commander, but still, it's truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. The Hisui region is a land created by the almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should be able to allow to use this land. The Great Weird Ear has taken a liking to A-Drive. This is a good sign. You may have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Sweet. But I, I can't ride the Weird Ear yet, can I? If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with the completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have this base camp set up once Construction Corps arrives. I suppose they're doing it now. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this camp to start your excursions directly from here. Have another base camp to start from and will be great help on our surveys. Nice work, everybody. What do we say we head back to the Wallflower? All right, so I caught a bunch of stuff. And I'm gonna get some good monies for that. 
And let's see if I completed any pages for Starly or anything. So Wurmple's done, Starly's done, Bidoof is done. Very nice, Silcoon's done. I'm really surprised that Silcoon's done. Oh, maybe because it's in the same family? No. Oh, because I evolved three. Oh, yo. That's like a whole nother level of, of brilliance. Just evolve three of them. Yo, I might be onto something with that. Benny old chum, the usual potato mochi, please. And make it for three today as well. Have you heard of the grave news? The frenzied cleaver from the rumors. Ended up mauling some of the galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps has a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. This cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is ordered, the Survey Corps will of course step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure A-Drive can handle things just fine. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver's so mighty, even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Now, now, you forget the strengths of Pokemon are keys of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting type physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. The next day. Good morning, A-Drive. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. Yo, I'm honestly very excited about being able to do Cleaver, but, oh, I can put my items in here. Okay, so this is good to know. I can, I can store things here if I need to. I do need to clear some space. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the cherry berries. Uh, I move, I'll move all these to storage because I do have Warren berries. Um, honey that sparkles with an amber hue. It's beloved by bug Pokemon. Ooh, I'll keep those. And I, I should sell these. It has medicinal properties. I don't really need this right now, so I'll just move those for now. I'll move these for now. Um. Yeah, I guess that's a good start for now. There you are, let's hurry to headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally realizing you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as the ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Ha, you could have had all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of the vast Asui space? Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worry you get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me? Get lost in almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis? You wish. I wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me, what a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. And that is, of course, the leader of the Diamond and the leader of the Pearl Clans. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The women with the reverence for space is Arita, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who is going on about time, Adaman, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean, the commander is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. Hey, yo, lady, I got that Starly stuff done. I did, yeah. So the markings on their foreheads are different sizes. I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read its entry. Please, catch a Starly and bring it to me. Wait, I've got, I've got Starlies. I want to go to the pastures real quick. Yes, yeah, so this guy wants five of my orange berries. I guess I'll give them to you. I've got quite a few. And he's gonna give me some tumble stones, I guess? Oh, revives, okay. And you already know we're working on filling up those forms, so I'm gonna evolve some of these uh, beautiflies and we'll ultimately get our dust stocks as well here. 
And then I'm gonna swap these around with some of the Pokemon in the pastures to get some of the other Mons we have to evolve them as well. All right, so I showed this lady a Starly. She was scared of it. And I think that's actually a really good spot for us to wrap this one up. This is an hour and 45 minutes of recording for one episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. For more Pokemon Legends Arceus Let's Play action, don't forget to make an account. Go to adrivelive.com. The accounts are free. You have a chance to win a Nintendo Switch. We've given away three of them to free members. And of course, if you're a plus member, you have a higher chance to win and you get early access on those episodes. So don't miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your favorite new formats, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.